Ploughing on a Welsh Hillside, Monday the 14th of September 2009. The tractor is a David Brown 1594 commemorative edition. It was made at Meltham on the 7th of March 1988, three days before David Brown ceased making tractors. The plough is a Dadswell DP8A, brought in 1981, the year that they were introduced, and it is ploughing here at 14 inches with UCN bodies. I think I'm on the fifth set of mouldboards for this plough, and I actually steam cleaned it for the first time today because I knew we were going to be making this video. Here we have a few views from inside the tractor cab. As you can see, it's nice, sandy, loamy soil and actually ploughing quite well. It's barley stubble that's had the muck spreader over it. Some of you will see that the front furrow is a little bit deep and certainly too wide. That's because the shares are a bit worn and I'm having to let the plough go. But I don't want to put new shares on because underneath the soil at plough depth is a layer of rock and I keep catching this rock and I've broken quite a few shear bolts. I'm not ploughing at my normal speed but in a couple of seconds if you watch closely and listen you will hear me knock it up a notch. This tractor has a change on the move box so what I've just done you couldn't do with a tractor with a manual gearbox. Now a look out of the front window. I'm trying to steer the tractor control the plough and take this video at the same time. I will soon have a look down at the dials. No lights. Temperature's okay, fuel's okay and I've only got about 15 or 1600 revs on which isn't what I normally work at. This tractor and plough are extremely well matched. If you look carefully you will see the draft responses from the plough acting on the lower link sensing and then in turn working the valve chest inside the tractor to get a little bit of weight off the plough for grip purposes. If you look carefully when I come to the end of the field I will drop it down one gear and then that will slow me down so that I can pick the plough up and have as short a headland as possible. I would normally have a few more revs on than this. I like to plough a little bit faster than this. This is the other end of the field. The soil has got a little bit more body in it here, but it's still ploughing nicely. Have a look at the plough just before I take it out of the ground. The soil is sticking to the tail pieces and a couple of the skims. This will make a difference to the quality of the ploughing because it won't roll properly. Pulling back in again now, it's quite clear to see how that front furrow is a bit too deep. Uh, this is being exaggerated because it's a bank that's hanging back into the ploughing. A 
quick look at my watch to see whether I can stop and have a cup of tea yet. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.